Hello, my name is Micah Lanasa, and I'm a technical writer for Active Directory Rights Management Services. This is part two in my series on ADRMS with ADFS Identity Federation support. In the first installment in the series, we installed and configured ADFS in both the CPNDEL and Tray Research domains. In this video, we will look at how to configure the ADRMS server to work with ADFS. I'll log on to the ADRMS server as ADRMS admin. The first thing I need to do is to open the local security policy console. I'll double click local policies and user rights assignments. I need to add the ADRMS service account to generate security audits. The first time I tried to do this, I received an error that said unable to save policy. I got rid of this error by restarting the ADRMS server and trying again. Now I'm going to open the ADRMS console and add extranet cluster URLs. These are used to provide access to protected content for users outside the local intranet. It's best to add these URLs during the ADRMS installation even if they will not be immediately enabled. The reason for this is that if extranet cluster URLs are added after content has been protected, then that previously protected content will not contain those URLs in its publishing license. It therefore may not be accessible outside the local intranet. Also, the cluster URLs should be added before the Identity Federation support role service is installed. If the cluster URLs are added after installation, you must manually edit the web.config files in the certification external and licensing external directories. Now I'll add the Identity Federation support role service through the server manager. I'll click Identity Federation Support, Add Required Role Services, and Next. I'll enter the CPNL Federation server name and validate it. I'll click Next, and then I'll click Install. Once the installation is completed, we'll need to go back to the ADRMS console and enable federated identity support. The installation is successful, so I'll click close. Now I'll close the server manager and we'll reopen the ADRMS console. I'll expand the ADRMS cluster, and then I'll expand trust policies. I click Federated Identity Support, and then in the Actions pane, I click Enable Federated Identity Support. I will also extend the validity period of the Federated Identity Certificates from the default value of one day up to seven days. The ADRMS server is now configured to work with ADFS. In my next video, I'll show you how to configure the client computer and we'll test the ADRMS and ADFS functionality.